Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the burl. What's up, everybody? It's your host, Claire Jagoon. And guys, in today's PUBG Mobile video, I'm going to be talking about the Burl M762. And that is the new assault rifle coming on the next update for PUBG Mobile. And guys, the Burl M762... Um, it has it has a lot of options guys this gun this gun is it's kind of like using um like using a, a vector and a and a uh, akm combined it has the speed kind of a vector rounds per minute i know it's not exact guys but that's the way it feels when you shoot it and that's what this video is going to be by the way it's first impressions it's my first impressions now i'm going to go ahead and get started warning um this is a beta there isn't a ton of real people in it. So you're going to see a lot of bot destruction in this video. Uh, for that, I apologize, uh, but that's what it is right now. There is a few real people in this beta because it did go public uh, recently. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a lot of bot destruction. So, but guys, like I said, this is uh, this is my first impressions. I grabbed the burl. I dropped in boot camp. And I'm taking a look at it. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you I like about the Burl right away, and I don't utilize it in this video, uh, partly because I didn't realize it would do it. But, guys, the Burl can fire single fire. It can go three-round bursts, just like an M16, and it can go fully automatic. Now, this is gonna, I'm going to show you the problem area of the Burl. If you try to go fully automatic at that range, it's going gonna, it's gonna to jump wildly. It's going to go crazy. But if you burst fire from that range, it is deadly. And, it, and as you noticed in that little burst, and that's the first time I shot it, so I was like, whoa, well, this thing is uh, it's a little jumpy. So, you know, I, I decided I'm going to have to kind of cool out on the automatic unless I'm really close. But, man, when you're really close to them, it melts. Now, this is sticky. Now, look at that. You know what? Like, that was a kind of a semi-close quarter uh, burst right there, and I held it automatic, and it actually did not buck too bad. It, it held pretty well, so I'm starting to like it at this point. Um, I'm like, man, this gun's got potential. So, and that's, and that's what this is, guys. This video, I mean, if you have not played that beta... I don't know that it's worth, uh, honestly, it's worth playing right now unless you just are like me and are curious about the burl and what it does. Um, because it, it's going to be out pretty soon, guys. Um, they're going to be releasing this probably pretty close to Halloween time. So, I mean, they haven't, there's no official date, but I can just see what's in the game. And, uh, you know, you've seen all the sneak peek videos so far. So, far. Uh, so you know, there's pumpkins uh, in the staging area and things like that. So, uh, definitely, definitely going to um, be releasing probably close to Halloween. <clears throat> mm. Not much here uh, that I want. The 249 is okay. I'm not hating on it, but it's not my favorite weapon. The, uh, the vertical, I mean, the horizontal climb on it, to me, is, is, is rough. It's rough. Right here, I'm going to try to do some, uh, some backpack uh, policing. Take some, some boots, make sure I'm okay, get my uh, suppressor on my burl. Oh, bot. I guess it was a bot. I mean, I, it had to be a bot, guys. No way a guy's going to come in that door and not shoot his gun and try to run out. But yeah. I did run into some real people, though, and I'm going to tell you, um, I was actually team-killed in a game. Um, I played, uh, we dropped into boot camp, and a package came down, and a guy team-killed me. So there's real people in it, but they're rare. They're really rare. So, and I'm going to my settings here. Apologize for that, guys, but, um, you know, in the update, I had to just kind of try to quickly put my, uh, my setup in place, and uh, it's really weird, because... I think I've got my um, my jump button in the wrong place, and my I don't I don't know about these buttons here, like the the reload and the aim. It just felt really weird, and I was having a hard time uh, kind of hitting those. So, also I can't figure out what the peak where peak is. Like 
as you see here, um, I kept trying to adjust peak, and it, it wouldn't let me peak. I, I, so I don't have the option to peak in this game. That's definitely a bot. Definitely. But look at that, guys. That, that's, you know, as far as the, the burl in action, that right there is the burl's element. It will chew them up up close. I mean, absolutely rip them, melt them, whatever you want to say. It is devastating. Devastating. And it's pretty manageable. The recoil at that range is super manageable. Um, it's, I mean, I hate to compare it to the AKM, but guys, let's, be, let's face facts. It's a very, very close to the AKM with the exception of the speed of, of the fire rate. The fire rate on the burl is much greater. Look at that. Hip fire from that range. Beautiful. Beautiful. And for me, um, hip fire is important. I, I really prefer to do a lot of hip firing over ADS, uh, especially at those ranges. And to have a gun like this that's manageable at that range, man. I mean, that's not, not even with a compensator, guys. That's with a suppressor, which doesn't really give handling that well. Now, let's watch this range. Now, I had to let it come down. Uh, and it looked like to me the burl in that engagement, it looked like it had a little bit of vertical and horizontal climb. Like it was kind of going around like this. Um, but it was manageable, very manageable. So, I, you know, for me, I'm going to definitely be using this gun. Um, that's that's going to be uh, what I'm going to tell you about it. Now, the same night I used the QBU. And if you guys, uh, I, you know, I made a couple of recordings uh, with the QBU. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments of the video. I might actually add this on to uh, my upload today. Um, I might do this at night so that, you know, I can get them out. Go ahead and get them out because obviously I'm a little bit behind the game, guys, on on uh, going to the uh, beta. I've not, I've had access to the beta for a while, but it's not, I didn't really take advantage of it. So I figured when it went public, there'd be some real people in it and uh, maybe it'd be a little bit more entertaining. Last beta I played, it was 100% all bots and it just, it just wasn't, it wasn't fun to me. But this wasn't really about the play. This was more about just, I wanted to test the burl. I wanted to see how it handled at different ranges. Like, what is it, what is it capable of? Because the AKM, as you guys know, is pretty much my favorite assault rifle. So, if this is gonna, is this gonna replace my desire to have the AKM most, of, most games? Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be close, guys. I'm gonna say I, I, I definitely like the burl a lot. Um, definitely the, the control factor for both of them. Uh, the AK is mainly a horizontal, uh, uh, horizontal recoil. Or actually, I probably got that backwards. More of a vertical recoil. I'm sorry, I'm totally backwards on that. But this one is all of it. It's kind of like bouncing around. I'm just looking around, guys. You, you know, you, you get that wild hair. It's like, all right, bots, materialize. And that's what these bots do. If you guys have watched them, literally, they, they spawn all around you. So, All right, so I got my eyes on a guy right here. Yeah, he and, and a real person would have never just kept going. Oh man, I love it. I love it. So I hear another guy. I'm gonna pop out and address him right quick. God, this thing, man, is is so nasty up close. Nasty. I mean, it just folds them. It reminds me. I tell you what, it reminds me of guys. If you ever played um, Call of Duty or any of those games, um, it reminds me of the FAMAS. Is what it reminds me of. Um, the FAMAS, I think, has a little bit higher fire rate, but uh, the recoil on this gun reminds me of the FAMAS and the, and the high fire rate. And look at that. Hit fire from that range. No problem from the burl. No problem. Now you're going to see a spawn guy right here in a second. There's nobody there. And then all of a sudden you hear a footstep. I heard it. You heard it. And then he starts shooting me. Now that, that right there was... Uh, 
panic and you see the burrow can get a little wide or wild if you don't let off um don't hold on it and that's that that was what i got from that engagement i was like whoa man this thing you know if you if you don't kind of control your fire rate it can get away from you <clears throat> i couldn't make it guys i tried So now the game's about to end, uh, guys, and, you know, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like, what do you think so far, just watching the burl, its actions, of course, my potato aim, uh, just kind of look at it and tell me what you think about it. It's a QBU. All right, uh, better late than never, right? I figure what the heck. You know, I'm always holding out in this game, in this particular game, that maybe I'll see a real person. Especially at the end game, you know, I kept holding out. Well, you still got to play Cautious Goon, you know, you want to get the chicken. Anyway, even though it doesn't matter, <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. I don't know why I play this way, but I play to win most of the time, guys. Um, if I get second place, it's because I got bested. It ain't because I'm out there being stupid. I try to play as wise as I can when I'm playing. And I try to get that chicken dinner every time. And even even against bots, I still like winning chicken dinners, guys. I like that. So here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find these last guys. Boot camp. There's parts of boot camp still out of the circle. There's another QBU finally. I gotta say, guys, uh, that particular night, um, oh, I see Flash. That particular night, I did not see, I played two or three matches in a wrangle, and I did not see, oh, there he is, uh, any Burls or QBUs in a wrangle. So I'm assuming that they are gonna be Sandhawk only and not in a wrangle. All right, so there was an engagement, and one of the bots is down. I'm assuming it was a bot. I'm pretty, pretty sure it was a bot, guys. There he is down there. I see him. And uh, I could have charged him and took him out with the burl, but I decided I want to use this QBU. Let's see what it does. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all right, guys. It's a little reminiscent of an, uh, a uh, Mini 14. But anyway, guys, that's it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think you're gonna? like the burl do you think that nah i'm just gonna stick with m416 or any other weapon that you use so guys uh smash that like button if you can subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and definitely leave me a comment i love reading each and every one of them and with that being said guys i am out of here